So if you're new to data engineering or just curious about what we actually do, let me paint a picture for you. As a data engineer, the job is basically to make sure that data flows smoothly from wherever it lives to wherever it needs to go. It could be your customer data from your app, sales data from your CRM or logs from your servers, or it can be anything, right? So data engineers basically build these pipelines, they set up these databases, create those data warehouses and make sure that analysts and data scientists can actually use this data to make these decisions. Looks very straightforward, right? But here is where it gets expensive. Today, I want to talk about a cost problem that sneaks up on almost every data team and a solution I recently discovered that's actually working. So here's what a typical day of a data engineer looks like. You have got some data sitting in multiple places. Some of that is there in your production database, be it MySQL or PostgreSQL or whatever. Some in your cloud storage may be S3 or Azure or some may be in your data lake or some can even be in your CRM platforms like Salesforce or HubSpot. Now your job is to get all this data so that people can act upon it and get some useful insights. You know currently what all these data platforms are doing, they are copying everything. You write ETL jobs that extract data from source A, then transform it and then load into your data warehouse. Then you do the same for source B, C, D and you can get an idea. Every time someone wants to run a query, your platform, whether it's a Databricks or it's Snowflake or BigQuery, it fires up compute resources to process that query. You need more data, you need more compute more queries, more compute, and this is how your bill goes up. Month one, you have, let's say $5,000, still manageable. Month three, it goes up to $12,000, and there is the problem. You are just doing what the platform requires, copying data, running transformations, and spinning up your clusters. But here's what I realized, a huge chunk of that cost that is completely unnecessary. Think about it in this way. Why are we copying that data from 10 different sources into one warehouse just to query it? The data already exists, right? And it's already stored somewhere. So we are literally paying to duplicate that data, store it twice and then transform it. It's like if every time you wanted to check your bank balance, you check your email, then look at your calendar, you had to first copy all three in one notebook, rewrite everything in the same format and then read it. It sounds really stupid, right? This is where I came across something known as Zetaris and honestly, the approach made me rethink how we have been doing things and it's simple too. Zetaris uses something called zero copy federation. Let me break that down in simple plain English. Instead of copying your data into one central warehouse, it queries data right where it already lives. You need customer data from SQL, you can query it there. Need sales data from S3, you can query it there or you need to join both of them. Zetaris can handle that very efficiently without anything. So literally no copying, no duplicate storage, no unnecessary transformations that can eat your compute. And here's where it gets interesting because data engineers are dealing with a lot of cost conversations. Teams which are using this already are seeing around 30 to 60% reductions in compute costs and some are cutting their Databricks bills by over 30%. See how efficient and cost effective your team is gonna be. And literally, I'm not talking about optimizing your queries or buying reserved instances. I'm talking about fundamentally reducing how much compute you need in the first place because if you're not copying and transforming data unnecessarily, you are just not spending that money, right? Now, let's get to the practical part. How do you actually test this? So the good news is Citaris has an open source federated data catalog on GitHub. You can download it right away and test it against your own setup. Here is what you need to do. First is to identify your most expensive queries, the ones that spin up big clusters and run for a while. Then second, you need to benchmark them and run them through your current platform and track the cost and time. Third is to set up Zetaris and run the same queries. And then you need to see what will happen. If you are seeing 30 to 40% cost reduction in your test environment, imagine scaling that across your entire data platform. That's real money back in your budget. And if you want to see how it works at enterprise scale or need help with your specific setup, they do free demos also and I'll link that demo below. I have been following Zetaris on LinkedIn too. They have shared some solid content on data architecture and cost optimization. Worth a follow if you are into this stuff. If you have dealt with all this runway data costs or tried federated approaches, I can assure you that you need to drop a comment. I would love to hear what are the problems that you are facing and how can we solve it together. I would love to hear your experiences otherwise also. And if you feel that video was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to this channel for more such amazing content coming ahead.